Hey everyone, thanks so much for being here. If you are new, thank you as well. Warm hugs. My name is Rachel, and if you would like, just make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Share, subscribe. It's beneficial for you and also for me, and it gives you that sneak peek at all my content and also when I am uploading. So now that I have, you know, kind of talked your ear off for the first 30 some seconds, um, I thought I would uh, go ahead and give you a um, video today. I've been a little lazy and I do apologize. Um, I just have like, everything is out of whack. Every, every single, um, I don't know what it is, but ever since I left my job, it seems like my sleep schedule is like all over the place. So it's like, I'm always, you know, trying to find that time, find that time. It's um, going to be a little while, you know, until dinner's ready. So I figured, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and do this um, while I have the chance. I don't know why I don't do these through the week. I should, but um, whatever. So I um, thought today I would go ahead and give you a um, sneak peek on a, um, on a totally different look that I normally don't do so often. And it's kind of like that um, orangey pink that was like so popular, like, like in the 19, 80s those orangey pinks um so i took the liberty of pulling out a couple of things to try to um pull it off my uh fingernails are just like really really um i don't know what it is they're they're good solid fingernails usually and I think I just need to uh, get some biotin because uh, that's what was really, really helping me. It's kind of like nature's, you know, hair, skin, and nails type thing. Um, I need to get some. But um, I thought, you know, this was um, as close to a 1980s makeup look as I possibly could get it. So, um... The only thing different is I didn't go real super pale like they used to do like to make those colors really super pop um, on your face like they used to. And I'm not sure if the, the brows were quite like this back then. They were more like real super um, gee, I don't remember. Because um, in the 1980s, I was uh, like more in like junior high. <laughs> I wasn't really quite into makeup yet. Um, I had to like wait at least uh, from the age of 13 to 15, you know, to start applying makeup because I had um, some crazy uh, skin issues going on. I had to go to a dermatologist, I believe. My um, mom also took me to um, an esthetician, I believe, uh, to um, figure out, you know, the colors that were best for me so that I wouldn't make, you know, the wrong kinds of makeup decisions. Um, I remember the first time that my mom, you know, actually sat me down and like showed me this thing called makeup. It was like a pan of blue eyeshadow and a black pencil and mascara. And she says, just work with this for right now. And then, you know, we'll see about getting you to an esthetician, you know, and see whether you're, um, you know, as pale as your dad, you know, or if you have, you know, uh, some things in there, you know, that you might need to go a little bit warmer. Who knows? So um, I did go to an esthetician and um, it looks like, um, from what I remember, that I'm more of a, <sighs> a fair to medium. Because now that, you know, that I've been on this earth, let's see, for um, a good, like, 50-some years, I'll be 51 in March. Um, going through all those sun exposures, getting um, sunburnt a lot, my um, 
dad used to like slather me with stuff. And it's like, okay, um, you don't go out in the sun and get a tan, you're too pale. And there's a reason why, because it seems like everybody in the uh, fairer side of my family just, you know, they burn. They do. I mean, I can remember a couple of times when I was um, further into high school, I ended up getting sun poisoning. So you live, you learn. But you know, um, when I um, pulled this makeup off today, I did not go completely pale because this was um, kind of like a revised edition, more like um, today's version of a um, 1980s makeup kind of. Is this coming off? It is kind of a little bit. This is the um, Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid. And this is number 20 in Classic Ivory. This was like, I think, uh, two something in one of those uh, baskets at the grocery store because they were kind of like um, things that nobody wanted to try to, um, or should I say, uh, now I can't think. I guess things that they were having a hard time, you know, selling. There you go. There's the right word. You can still see some of the um, light popping through my dark. I need to get it done and done right. Um, I got one of these. L'Oreal uh, Paris Superior Preference and it is uh, 6.5G the lightest golden brown I'm going to try to get my hair um, a little bit lighter um, when I did my hair recently my uh, daughter looked at me and she says um, that looks like the worst <laughs> makeup color job you've ever done it doesn't, doesn't quite um work for you so okay it's like really really hot in here so it's really really hard to keep the um the house comfortable right now because it's been um like cold and hot and cold and hot you know through um the past couple days and nights um okay here we go get this up off my neck. It drives me nuts, especially when it's too warm. In the summertime, I pull it up, especially if I end up going out because I can't stand it down all over my neck and shoulders and stuff like that. Um, I am thinking about getting my hair cut, but uh, yeah. So um, I used the foundation Underneath it is the um, Skin Ceremony Hyaluronic and Collagen um, Replenishing Cream. I absolutely love this stuff. It's um, a really, really uh, good one for um, keeping the um, your skin looking decent. I have been using uh, a couple of other things as well. Uh, this is the these are Clean Beauty, um, also from the uh, Marshalls um, Nourishing Botanical Skincare, the Hydrating Facial Oil in Rose Hip Oil and Vitamin E. I mix this in with sometimes, but also sometimes base on that, and then a little bit of the Clean Beauty Deep Hydration Facial Serum in rose oil, collagen, and hyaluronic acid. Be very, very careful what you put on your face because it can really scar you if you um, don't use the proper types of products. I found out that, you know, it's, I'm trying to think, what is it? Uh, the Clean and Clear with the, um, not the hyaluronic, uh, the salicylic acid. And I used it so, so much, you know, just to clean off my face. Um, and I started getting real deep, 
lines in here and I almost got, you know, a really bad reaction. I had some scars there for a while, but you know, they went away as soon as I started taking better care of my skin. Um, in the 80s, they used to put tons of powder on their face. I don't put tons of powder on my face anymore. I use the Airspun. This is the translucent extra coverage. I only powder through here, like underneath my eyes. Not, you know, excessive amounts, you know, because if you um, um, wear glasses or um, if you uh, flash like a crazy little smile and you see those little um, deep lines in there, I mean, nobody can smile, you know, like all the time, but you know, um, it's, but you know, when you relax your face as well, I mean, I'm just going to take just a little bit from the top here. Um, and also like around the nose area, any place where the, um, makeup can move like through the brow ridge underneath the eye, but more like through here. Um, like around the nose area and around the little areas along the side of your mouth. Occasionally underneath. I never actually, quote, set my face with powder because it's just not necessary. As you get older, um, the more powdery product you use, it's going to just, you know, start, you know, settling in on your face and making it look really dry and matte. And that's really not the look nowadays. Um, when I did my brows, I kind of do my brows the way I do now because I don't remember how I used to do them back then. So what I did is using a brow kit from Wet n Wild and it's the only one left and this is that um warm um brown you can see one little spot right there i don't have everything out like i should i technically seal my brows and um it's just you know something that um I do and only because it helps to keep the shape and um, because my brows underneath are not you know asymmetrically even so I try to keep them when I do them so they look even. I use a little bit of the Mega Clear uh, Brow Lash Mascara from Wet n Wild um, just you know underneath there. You know, so when I go to um, put powder product on there, it adheres nicely. I much prefer to do it this way anyway. It's uh, kind of nice. I think I swiped this from my daughter, come to think of it, because she wasn't using it. She's uh, using some kind of pomade or something like that, or some kind of gel type formula. Um, I do border them out with a little bit of a concealer. I use anything that is just a little bit uh, lighter in consistency. This is a BB concealer and it's a lot thinner than what I use for underneath my eyes. And I use the Essentially Ageless with a hyaluronic acid in it. These do not have quality in them. You know, it's not really necessary to have it. Um, if you don't feel you need it. So yeah, um, set the brows, fill them in, border them with a little concealer, and then um, use a little bit of a brow gel. This is from Hard Candy, and it is in light brown, I believe. Yes, light brown. You know, just, you know, to uh, go through I always find, you know, whenever I do these videos, sometimes that, you know, I'm finding things that need fixed. Because, you know, we were out. And I don't know if it's just, you know, the sun or the, um, 
something that kind of bleaches the look a little bit. It's weird. The sun can bleach out certain things. So, yeah. And technically, when you do those um, borderings, like when you're um, tracing them out uh, with your concealer, use something that has like with a um, little fine brush. It works. Most of what I use is um, with the brows or the long comb because I like them. They have um, nice and soft brushes. Most of what I use uh, concealer wise um, is in light since um, I do have some dark circles underneath my eyes sometimes, even with as much as I sleep. You know, I still have like dark circles underneath my eyes. I don't know what it is. Um, when I decided to work with this look, I saw this screaming at me, my Ace Beauté um, Grandiose palette. And because it has uh, some really beautiful colors in there, um, I used these two. I used this one, this patchouli, um, to kind of soften the crease first before I started anything else. And then blending in with Poppy. And that's more of like um, a nice bright orange, almost looked like a creamsicle type look when I was uh, first applying it and then blended a little bit of rose into it. And then when I got home from the grocery store just a little bit ago, I thought, okay, it looked a little excessively pink. So what I did is I took a little bit of clove, that orangey color just took just a little bit of it like right over because it just looked a little too more on the pink side and I didn't want you know something so pink like in your face type of look so I just you know blended it to make it look a little more on the orange side these kinds of colors are kind of coming back in style a little bit but um the rest of this is not so much, you know, modern day. Um, if you want to use a cream shade over the top, just to blend it and keep it clean. Uh, let's see here. I'm thinking, thinking. I used to have a freaking hard time eyelining when I was younger and um, my mom said, you know, if brows, um, brow pencils, like the ones that um, a lot of people use, I'm trying to think, where are they? Um, I have a couple in here, I think. Um, These, the um, expert wear little uh, black pencils. These are, I believe, in velvet black. Yeah. Um, sometimes, um, if it gets too warm in here, um, I have to take these and pop them into the freezer for a little while, and you know, try to get them, you know, so I can get a nice uh, point on them when I go and. Um, try to um, if I have a pouch don't think I do I have to these little things from Sally Hansen Supply I think it's a boutique yeah it's a boutique and these are made of 
stainless steel. They come from Germany. Um, I should be able to make... Oh, yeah. Makes a decent point. Not bad. I could have used this, but um, I decided I was using a little bit of a black eyeshadow instead. The, uh, the ones from... I always forget about these little things. From Wet n Wild, the color icon in Panther. It's a very rich matte black. I started the lines first and then crimped my lashes and then popped over those lines a few, a little bit more with one of their eyelining brushes. I kind of just, you know, like, Instead of stroking them in there, kind of just, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Instead of, you know, like, just push them in there. Like, in between, go in between your lashes and kind of just, you know, like, push them in, in between there to get a nice line. And then sometimes you can just, you know, get a nice line going. I start with the powder and then using, no, that's a body ecology. That's, um, that's one that my daughter gave me. I'm trying to think, where is this thing? I need to be a little more organized. I'm sorry. Um, number 509 in Ultra Black. It's the Wet n Wild Breaker Proof. And it has a nice, almost like a felt tip marker. And um, I line much better with this whenever I have a line done already, like in a shadow or like or a um, black regular pencil. So, um, and these are great anyway because these um, are like a cry proof. So if you like on this side, you know you're um, gonna have a meltdown. <laughs> yeah, have a meltdown. But um. I don't remember how long it's been on the market, uh, the Rimmel of London products, but I do like their extra super lash. I put a couple coats on there, you know, just to, because I really like this stuff. It's really, really, really nice product to work with. And I swear in my life I will have to do kind of like a, um, an instructional tutorial on how I do my contour. I know I have to do that at some point. I have somewhat of a round face and it kind of, um, from what I understand, round faces are classically beautiful. There are a lot of uh, beautiful um, actresses out there right now. Not actors, actresses. Um, that have these beautiful round faces, you know. So I, I kind of, you know, I go with it. But what I've been doing is using a cream contour. It's the Revolution We Love Contour. And this is in the cream it's in light. I highlight through here and here from like from down here to the tip of the nose and from here down to the tip of like almost like the corner of your mouth with the um, highlight. So you're kind of like raising the feature and also with that um, deeper shade you know to the places where you want to shrink them back a little bit you know slim down the face or slim down the nose um when you slim down a nose and this is a cool trick and i had to show this to my daughter and she just absolutely loved the idea oh my gosh she was like mom i got a new nose <laughs> and i'm like yeah it's cool isn't it so i'm gonna take just a little bit of this down both sides sometimes I find myself rubbing at my nose anyway through the day so I'm just gonna you know all 
All right. And then with a little bit of the highlight, like right down through here and right through here with that little bit of the contour like right under your hair and these are like um tips that i take you know from other people that if you're looking for um tips for like uh photos like if you're gonna be uh doing any like modeling gigs or anything like that i have never done anything like that my mom did some modeling when she was younger the darker shade first down there my mom is so beautiful I mean, even like in her 70s, she's like a really, really stunning lady. And I don't say that just because she's my mom, but you know, it's like, oh my gosh, she's so classy and she's, she's just absolutely beautiful. We've got some good genetics in our family. I mean, if you have good genetics in your family, you're so, so lucky. Believe me. And make sure you're blending upwards against your nose structure, especially like towards the the height of your bridge, like right in here, come in here and then blend upwards. And you'll see how it thins the nose. My daughter did that and she's like, oh my gosh, I've got a new nose. I'm like, yeah, see how that works? It's so cool. <laughs> It's amazing. I do set these with like a couple of things. Um, a little bit of a fair toned bronzer from Physicians Formula. It's the healthy wear just to set the areas that you're uh, kind of like uh, trying to pull out the cheek structure it's a nice deep shade to work with i mean deep enough if you're fair skinned you see what i mean it's not too terribly light it's just um light enough and then the bare naturals from l'oreal and it's just enough it's just fair enough because this is in light ivory number 410, uh, just to kind of like come right down to seal where you have highlighted and just go with where your structure is. I mean, if yours sit a little bit higher or sit a little bit lower, it just depends. It just depends. Um, I used the Relove Revolution Blush um, palette in Cute. Has kind of like a um, kind of like a reddish orange um, blusher and kind of like a pale gold highlighter right up in here. Blush goes right up in here. It goes on your cheeks and no place else. These are more classic approach to makeup, if you ask me. Um, but any old school type of um let's see what time it is here. It's only oh dang, it's five o'clock. Um any old school um MUA will tell you that um, it only goes on the cheeks and no place else. Um, there are some modern day MUAs that will tell you that as well. That highlighter. I use a fan brush. I also use this fan brush occasionally just, you know, to whisk away any makeup that's like right in here. 
because sometimes my some of my eyeshadows uh, produce some kickback. Um, let's just go for the nose, right through here. Highlight the bridge of your nose. Stay away from the tip, um, unless you think you must. Um, right up in here, your highlight zone. There's an excessive amount right here. I'll blend that out. If you see you have like a ton of highlighter, take your beauty blender and just push it in there so it doesn't look like it's too crazy looking. Too much highlighter can really um, break a look. I mean, it can either make or break. Too much highlighter can definitely make a break. Do a um, do a break for sure. Try the chin just a little bit. Highlight the it's one of my games. I guess you could say I'm kind of a gamer. I keep a couple of games on my iPad. I keep my iPad in here because like in the mornings or whenever it is I decide to get up, you know, I'm in here doing makeup and also uh, watching a lot of like, um, Unsolved Mysteries or uh, Cold Case Files. Anybody, you know, really, really like Cold Case Files and stuff like that. That's, that's that's my thing that's my jam other than you know the, the makeup and stuff like that and it's just it's cool it's like something to do while i'm doing my makeup but you know if you can get a hold of these they're absolutely amazing uh this is the brand that's like under five dollars it's really really cool really cool all right i can technically start to feel okay now i can probably pull my hair back down I don't mind my hair up so much you know i think we're gonna pull it down now you know that um this kind of is starting to pull together a little bit um the lipstick that i pulled at first uh was a little too um uh, it just wasn't quite right it wasn't you know like in harmony with the rest of the colors so uh what i did okay i'm gonna pull the light back so um this is in nyx i believe it is yes this is the shout loud lipsticks the satin lipsticks this is in 21st it's kind of like a um a pink shade but it's kind of like a um a pink shade that wouldn't necessarily clash with something a little more on the orange side it's just all about making everything look cohesive and not clash too terribly much i don't know what it is about this lipstick i had another one on earlier and i think it was in day club but it seemed um just a little too off it wasn't within the spectrum that I wanted. Um, I did use a product that was kind of like a give and give back type of thing with me and my daughter. The Revlon Kiss Plumping Lip Cream. This is in Fresh Petal number 520. don't like um, popping out too much so I'm just gonna pop out a little bit um, against the back of my hand um, I guess I'm just gonna use my finger because I really don't have a, a lip brush that's one thing I don't have is a lip brush Out of everything I have, I do not have a lip brush. Uh, 
of all of the products that I have. Um, and I have a lot of lipsticks. <laughs> Hence the name Lipstick Geek. So, um, yes. I think we are good. And just to keep this nice and fresh and not too caked on and looking dry, spray a little collagen rose water on there. This is an advanced clinicals. I got this from Marshalls. I get a lot of stuff from Marshalls. It just revives dry, lackluster skin. It's a plump and glow facial mist. So um, instead of like using like a Like a setting spray which I really don't need since I'm not working anymore I don't need to my husband makes enough money that I really don't need to um, although I feel I'm getting bored <laughs> I hate to say it but um I have my mother-in-law to take care of but um I think that's it thanks so much for turning back I'll see you in the next one and See, have a wonderful week.